Um, the reason I'm even involved in any of this is I have a, a couple of jobs at the uh, Internal Manufacturing Director. One is to look internally at uh, a better way to manage our materials data. And the second is to look externally and say, you know, what can we help put in place that, that will make IC MSC a reality from a data perspective? So how it's size and it. So Howard Sizing uh, and I are, are uh, partnering up on, on uh, the data side uh, for the materials manufacturing director. Um, on the internal side, um, I'm just going to say a couple of things. Um, one of the, as we look at the different tools that are available to us to develop a laboratory information management system um, or something that basically can flow and capture uh, flow data and capture scientific workflow, we're running into you know, common issues as we look at the different tools. We're evaluating different classes of tools, like track lab notebooks, laboratory information management systems. We're looking at uh, Hub Zero's um, hub, um, and we're looking at materials information management systems, like from Grant. Um, we looked at uh, RJ Lee's uh, laboratory information management, management system. We brought it in on board, on site, and, and tried to use these different tools. And one of the common issues we have with every single one of them is, generally speaking, the tool itself is a great tool. Um, but getting data into the tool, into the system, has always been, it, it has turned out to be the biggest challenge. And that's simply because we don't have standards for interoperability uh, between the test frame, the characterization equipment, the process equipment, and the system that helps us manage all that. So, um, something akin to a, a, an architecture that allows us to, uh, to do that, developing interoperability standards, which RDF and semantic web technologies really help with. It may be a step in that direction. So we're looking at conventional tools, but we're also kind of thinking about the future. Because what we want to do ultimately is, is, is capture knowledge and overlay um, some of the tools that are associated with the web technologies, OWL and so forth, um, on top of the RDF, the triple stories that we create, to then be able to capture some of the knowledge um, internally. As we look externally, it became pretty obvious early on that a uh, silos of data was not the solution um, for ICMSC. I mean, we have, what, uh, uh, graduated, I think, 2 million student engineering students per year. I think there's 22,000. I'm trying to look up some numbers, looking at both Alpha and, and other sources, trying to get some numbers. Uh, there's 22,000 universities. When you look at the number of people that are out there, they have subject matter expertise in materials or related um, engineering disciplines, it's a very large number. Okay, I'd, rather, I'd rather have 1,700 guys uh, tap on a keyboard on the web to um, help us develop a vocabulary or an ontology and pay somebody uh, you know, one year's worth of labor uh, to try to accomplish the same thing. I think you'll accomplish more by exposing the tool set to the crowd and letting them uh, help you develop the system that can ultimately end up with a nice federated architecture and, uh, and, and sharing information, making things as interoperable as possible, making queries global and, and guarding that information and bringing it back. And I've already really exceeded my time on this. But that's, that's where we want to go uh, with this. And I, and I don't know if semantic web technologies is, is what's going to get us there. But as I think you'll see as we progress through the workshop, there's elements associated with those technologies that are very attractive. There's obviously limitations as well. And we'll expose what some of those limitations are. Um, but it, it looks like it's a good place to start to try to put in place a federated architecture allow us to share um, materials information um, with anybody anywhere um, across the world. Um, so we're going we're to take a little bit of a break here, a two minute break, um, to get uh, Dan Miracle's computer set up, up here and ready to go. And uh, once that happens, uh, I'll let uh, Dan take it away and, and uh, uh, present to Dan. Okay. Uh, so I was going to just Yeah, I put your drum with it. 